All right, uh, last time we talked about angle bisectors, um, the ratios, um, the way to calculate the bisectors length. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about something called exterior angle bisector. Uh, hopefully this is not new to you. Uh, for example, given triangle ABC, uh, this is the exterior angle for angle A. And then I could draw a angle bisector here and such that it will, for example, meet um, the extension of BC, right? It, it meets the BC at point D, all right? Okay, exterior bisector. And then uh, we have this pair of ratio. AB divides AC, all right? The two legs of the triangle, the ratio equals BD divides CD. Now, before um, you start to wonder, uh, let's refresh our memory for the interior bisector. Uh, the ratio looks like what? AB divides AC equal BD divides CD, no? For interior bisector. Now, if you compare to the exterior bisector, uh, well, they look exactly the same, exactly the same, right? So if you can understand one, then you should be able to understand the, the other one, right? They look exactly the same. And the way to prove that, to prove that, um, it should be the same, kind of similar way how we prove this one, right? For interior bisector, how do we do that? We, uh, we draw a parallel line, right? So, uh, well, let's draw another parallel line here. Uh, there are many ways to draw parallel lines, but you know, just let's, for example, for example, you uh, follow this graph here uh, from point C, right? I draw CE that's parallel to AB, all right? From point C, I draw a parallel line that's parallel to AB meeting the, uh, the segment of AD at point E, all right? And with bisectors and parallel lines, you should always be uh, looking for an isosceles triangle. All right, so right now, which one is isosceles? Um, well, it's this one. Because this angle equal this, and then this one now equal this because AB is parallel to CE, okay? So triangle, ACE is isosceles. So AB divides AC equals AB divides um, EC. But then AB divides EC equals BD divides CD because this triangle is similar to the larger one. Why? Because CE is parallel to AB, right? And that's it. This is the ratio we want to prove. No? Um, and well, just by drawing a parallel line, we can handle that. All right. So uh, now you know if you have never seen this before, well, now you know. It's, it's, well, what's the purpose of that? So you're wondering. So what, what, what's, the, what's the point of knowing that? The point is now you can tell where is the location of point D. All right. Where is that? How do I pinpoint the location of point D? Well, you, you, can, you can calculate this one now, right? AB divides AC, that's the ratio of two sides of a triangle that we should know, right? We, we're given this triangle, so that this divides that, uh, we know. What we don't know before is what's CD? Well, now you know, right? CD divides CD plus BC. That's um, CD over BD, right? This should equal to AC divides AB. For example, right? So with this, you can solve CD now, right? You can find the location of point D, right? Just by knowing this ratio, all right? And we shall see a little application later today, all right? Now, another thought that we should think, we should dig is knowing there is a isosceles triangle and you know, um, last time, the last time when we see isosceles triangle in the bisector setting, we uh, discovered something interesting, right? We discovered that AD squared equal AB times AC minus BD times CD, right? 
Now this time you see this isosceles triangle. What, what can we derive? Can we derive something nice? And the answer is yes. And let's see the result. All right, I'm going to uh, calculate the length of AD again. Again, I'm going to calculate the length of AD, all right? The bisector's length. This time is the exterior angle bisector. I want to calculate the length of AD, all right? And the, the, the result uh, is very, very similar to this, very similar, just sort of the reverse, because this time it, with the exterior bisector, BD times CD is actually larger than AB times AC, all right? And I'll show you the proof. So the result is for exterior bisector, AD square should equal to BD times CD subtract AB times AC. All right, it's kind of the opposite of the interior bisector's lens formula. All right, if you, if you remember one, you should be able to remember the other one, right? They, they kind of like, a, you know, cousins, right? They are like a pair of conjugates, right? Very similar theorems. Now let's prove it, right? Uh, isosceles triangle, no? This is isosceles. And D is on the extension of um, AE. So immediately let's apply our little theorem, which says CD square minus AC square should equal to DE times DA, okay? Correct? Try to remember your theorem, all right? Don't forget. And I want to calculate DA square. Now I want to sort of focus on AD square. I see AD showing up here. I see a DE, DE is sort of part of AD. So I think I should get, um, you know, maybe hopefully getting an AD square from here. So let's try. AD square equal AD uh, times like um, uh, AD times, uh, sorry, DE times AD divided by DE, okay? Right, and then AD divides DE is AB divides AC. Is that right? Think about it. AD divides DE, right? The, the small triangle here, similar to the larger triangle, right? So this should, this should equal to AB divides CE, but then CE is the same as AC, so I write AB divides AC, okay? All right, now I think uh, I'm ready to move on. So AD times DE is this. So this equals carry on CD square minus AC square times AB over AC. That is CD square times AB divides AC minus AC square times AB over AC. That's exactly AB times AC, no? So the second part uh, is already taken care. I need to check the first term. Is that the same as CD squared times, uh, sorry, CD times BD, right? So I see this. Now let's see, CD times CD times AC divide, uh, sorry, AB here, sorry, AB. AB divides AC, okay? CD times AB divides AC, CD. The graph is very colorful right here. CD times AB divides AC. That's what? That's BD, no? Take a look. AB over AC is same as AB over CE. That's the larger triangle versus the small triangle's length, right? Now you multiply CD. That should give you the the length of BD, right? So this, in the bracket, that's BD 
And then the second part is already taken care. And that's it. That, that's what we want to prove, no? All right, it could be a nice um, little exercise if you just um, don't look at my proof, uh, find a clean piece of paper and you try to prove it by yourself. All right, try it. All right, but then once, once you're done, uh, remember this result, okay? It's very neat, right? And it looks very, very similar to the interior one. All right, now knowing this, uh, shall we uh, do a little um, practice and put everything together? All right, let's try that. So let's use the same um, configuration from last time. All right, so I have a triangle. This is six, this is four, and then BC is five. I draw an interior bisector AD, all right? And this time, uh, I'm gonna make things a little bit more complicated. I draw an exterior bisector as well, AE, all right? So this angle equals this angle. All right, I want to find out the length of AD. I want to find the length of AE. I also want to find the length of DE, all right? So that's uh, one thing at a time. So BD over DC is the same as AB over AC, right? Which is three over two. So this must be three, this must be two because they add up to five, right? And they have a ratio of six over four, which is three over two, all right? So this is, Three and two. And then so AD squared, AD squared equals six times four minus three times two, which is 18, all right? AD squared is 18, right? We got that. Now, if I want to figure out AE squared, uh, I need to know CE, no? That's part of the formula. So what's CE? To find out CE, uh, well, I told you the ratio, right? The ratio will help you find out CE, right? The um, exterior bisectors ratio. What is that ratio again? AB over AC equal BE over CE, all right? This over this equal this one over CE, all right? So that's um, three over two equals what? BE is, let's say this is X, okay? CE equals X. So that's five plus X divides uh, X. So three X equal 10 plus two X, um, well, X equal 10, All right? All right, so let's mark it. This is 10, All right? Nice, right? All right, so, uh, well, this is a uh, square root of 18. All right, let's put it here. Uh, okay, I'm, I think I'm ready to calculate AE now. AE square equal what? Uh, 10 times 15 minus this times this, 24, right? Equal 126. All right, and then uh, DE, well, DE, well, we, we got it, no, DE equal 12. And do you notice something? Well, I, 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 I know the answer, but do you notice something? Uh, if I write in squares, so DE square equal 144. This, this, and this, uh, well, you, you notice something now, right? AD square plus AE square equal DE square. Uh, take a closer look. I'm saying that interior bisector square plus exterior bisector square equals the square of the two uh, intersection points, the length of that. Uh, but that's a that's the Pythagorean. No, this is this this is saying the triangle ADE is a right triangle. Is a right triangle, right? Uh, well, is that is that so? Is that is that correct? Why is that? Well, it's correct, right? Because this angle right here, 
is 90 degree. Why? Because this is interior bisector, that's exterior bisector. So 180 degree is cutting to what? Right, two parts, and then you got half here, you got half there. Well, so this is 90 degree, right? So this makes a lot of sense right now. That AD squared plus AE squared equals DE squared. That, that makes sense, right? Okay, all right. So um, practice this, and I think uh, hopefully you remember the formulas, all right? That's it for today. I'll see you next time.